Hey, yo, everybody sit down. Be quiet. I don't give a fuck if they own or not. Y'all go out there and put on the performance of y'all lives. They're owing nine for a reason. And if we don't put up at least 60 points, if I don't see 60 points on that scoreboard, everybody running suicide when we get back to the gump town. Now let's strap up. That piece of audio you heard was Joseph Cooley motivating his football team to go out here and give it all they got. Today, Alabama State's taking on a winless Grambling State Tiger football team. Wow, never thought this would happen, right? But here we are. The Grambling State Tigers are so desperate for at least one win this season. They have come across games where they had the chance to get a victory, but they came up short. For example, this loss right here to Bethune Cookman, who's only lost, who's only won one game all season. Excuse me. Then they lost to Bayou Classic. That was no competition versus the Southern Jaguars. And Southern hasn't been good either. And then, of course, last game they played, they lost to Florida A&M. And now they have the privilege of taking on the number one team in the country. While Grambling State is struggling just to get one win, Alabama State is looking to get impressive wins in order to please the BCS voters who are just straight hating at this point. Alabama State now ranks third in the BCS rankings. We have now been jumped by the Ohio State Buckeyes and by the Texas A&M Aggies. Now the Ohio State Buckeyes are one win away from punching their ticket to the national championship game. Remember during this time there was no Big Ten Conference Championship game, right? So they got the Michigan Wolverines, their most hated nemesis. They're playing them this weekend while we're getting ready to take on the Grambling State Tigers. This is a huge weekend for uh, college football. I believe the Texas A&M Aggies are off this week, but they got Texas next week. As you take a look at Ryan Thompson, who is the greatest wide receiver in college football history. Now, the Grambling State Tigers will be playing without their best quarterback. That is Will Bell. He's out for six weeks. I mean, at this point, you might as well just say he out for the season. So Josh Campbell will be taking on the quarterback responsibilities for the winless Grambling State Tigers. Corey Perry, 85 overall, junior running back. 6-1-2-18, a power back. He will be able to tackle Victor Bostic in his, what, I believe this is his last game. I forgot, or is it next week? But anyway, he's 84 overall. But look at this wide receiver court. They actually have a nice, decent wide receiver court. 82 overall in Waters. Tom Wright at 80 overall. Then you got Rath. My bet that was Roth. He's at 78 overall. So there's room to grow at the wide receiver position. But this team just can't get any type of victories. They are struggling. They've been struggling all season. So as the game kicks off, that could have been a catch right there. But he dropped it. That was a great play by uh, Jones, I believe that was. That forced that deflection. So here we are on offense. We take the ball off. We give it the Donnie marker. He goes up past that first down marker. And we moving. He's on the verge of winning the Dalt Walker Award. That goes low down, dirty Shane, though. Could he come back next season and be the next man up? Because he is next in line based off what I see on the depth chart right now. But right now, there goes Sheldon Green making that catch inside the five. We got third and goal at the three-yard line of the Tigers. And we give it to Donnie Mark, her touchdown, Alabama start. Just like that, we cruising. We are looking. To put up as many points as possible. And there goes Cabo going down with the sack right there. Look at that. That was a beautiful set by Ryan Anderson, our true freshman cornerback. Campbell this time stepping back the pass. He finds it deep. And the pass is caught by Wright. And can Vincent catch him? Yes, he can. Avery Vincent whiff on the interception. And then he had to make the tackle. But nevertheless, the Grambler State Tigers have the ball at the horn at 12. So here they go at first and 10, shotgun formation, it's a play fake. He pops it up the middle of the pass, oh my lord. Leon Hill just baptized somebody with the holy water. Yes, that was Victor Bostic. He got popped on that play, and he's very disappointed on himself that he dropped that ball. So here they go again on second down. And look at Leon Hill on the pick, look at the user. Leon Hill with another interception on the season. The man's been an absolute beast on the defensive side of the ball. We got the ball back. It's first and 10. Donnie Marker takes the handoff. Gold tries to go up the left side, but he got taken down. Look at that approaching 1,400 yards rushing. There goes Wade Wilson, the merchant with the arm. He tries to go outside. He takes it to the right side. Tries to get away from the defender, but he didn't get nowhere. At least he didn't get set. We got 36 now. We're going to give it the low down. Dirty Shane Harris. He gets popped on that play, but he did get the first down. 
Hats over 700 yards rushing so far. That's a career high. Second and 10 now. There goes Donny Marker taking it up the right side. Makes a man miss. Look at the power. Look at the ability to break tackles by Donny Marker. If he doesn't win that dope walk award, then something is wrong. We try to do the screen pass, but Ryan Thompson can't get anywhere. This That play has rarely worked all season. Deadpool not get sacked. Deadpool gets sacked by Houston. And the Grambling State Tigers are looking to hold on to some type of miracle. But after one, we are up 7 to nothing. We're looking to put up at least 60 points so our players won't have to run suicides. 3rd and 12 now. This time, Deadpool looked downfield, but the pass is overthrown. So now we're forced to punt. And here comes the Grambling State offense. That goes Corey Perry. Oh, he fumbled the ball, but they got it back. Corey Perry picked up the fumble. Didn't get nowhere, though. They had the punt, so here we are at 1st and 10. We're going to look downfield to Ryan Thompson. He makes that catch in the Grambling State territory. And we're cruising 1st and 10 for the Hornets. At the Grambling State 30-yard line, here goes Wade Wilson again. Makes that catch. Thomas Chavez, he makes him and miss. He's gone. Touchdown, Alabama State. Thomas Chavez once again showing that he can be that next guy. Thomas Chavez has had an up and down season, but for the most part, his stats are not that bad. And he did a great job making that catch and getting that ball into the end zone. We're up 14 to nothing. 30 inches now. Here goes Campbell throwing it off his back foot right. It's ruled short of the first down. A great play that was by Jones. And now we're about to get the ball back again. At our own 30-yard line, the play fade. Deadpool looks back to pass. He's looking for Tommy Chavez. And it's caught. He's in Grambling State territory once again. And back-to-back -back possessions for touchdowns for Tommy Chavez. Touchdown, Alabama State. Tommy Chavez gets into the end zone again on back-to-back -back drives. And the Alabama State Hornets have now 21 <laughs> Grambling State. Here goes Corey Perry, though, on the handoff. Corey Perry takes it out the cut. Corey Perry's in Hornet territory. He's past the 30. They can't take him down. Oh, my God, they can't kick him down, and he scored. Corey Perry scores, and Grambling State are finally on the board after being down 21 to nothing. It is now 21 to 7, but there goes the Hornet offense right back there on the field. And he looks up the middle for Ryan Thompson, a first and 10. A great catch that was by Ryan Thompson, and the Alabama State Hornets are just straight cruising on offense. Now for the handoff to Donnie Marker. Tries to make a man miss, but he's forced up the gut once again. He's having a great game, though. On second and five at our own 45, we give it to Donnie Marker. Look at that cut right there. Look at that gap up the gut. Kendrick Billings is no doubt the best offensive lineman in the country. So this time, Deadpool rolls out a little bit, and he finds low down dirty Shane Harris on the right side, past the 30-yard line, and the Alabama State Hornets are now at the Grambling State 25. We're in shotgun now, they show blitz, but there goes Ryan Thompson making that catch. First and 10 for the Hornets, we're approaching the 10-yard line. We're gonna do an end around to Ryan Thompson, though, and he's gonna get that thing into the end zone with ease, touchdown, Alabama State. Ryan Thompson gets into the end zone, and the Alabama State Hornets are now up 28 to 7 at the half. We are cruising, and we are looking to score at least 60 points. So Joseph Cooley won't give these players hell going into next week versus Arkansas Pine Bluff. So on the opening kickoff of the second half, there goes Sheldon Green taking it. Sheldon Green up the right sideline. Sheldon Green goes in the Grambler territory. Sheldon Green finally gets one. Touchdown, Alabama State. Sheldon Green gets it to the end zone on special teams. And now we're up 35 to 7. But here comes Grambling State back on offense. And there goes a sack. There goes Grant Garcia getting another sack on the year. Third and long now for Grambling State. Campbell steps back to pass. He pops it up the middle and the pass is dropped. That's why Grambling State is 0-9 because of plays like that. They are absolutely horrid. So first and 10. We got the ball at the Grambling State 46. Deadpool looks up the middle and that pass is caught by Chad Hamilton, the red shirt freshman, who has a very bright future in this football program. This time we're going to do a play fake. We roll out to the left. Ryan Thompson's wide open and he makes the catch into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. 42 to 7. The Hornets are on top. Campbell gets sacked once again. This time it looks like John McCohen on the sack. The Hornet defense is on it. And the Hornet offense, the team as a whole, is all over this team. Grambling State are 0-9 for a reason. And yes, that was John McCohen on the sack. Great play that was right there by our junior defensive end. Campbell steps back the pass. This time he pops it down the middle. And the pass is dropped once again. They have nobody they can depend on on this football team at Grambling State. So third and seven now. Campbell pops it. And the pass is picked off. Ryan Anderson got a sack earlier in this game, and now he gets an interception. 
And the Alabama State Hornet defense had come through yet again. The Alabama State defense gets another turnover on the day. Now here comes our offense at the Grand State 33. We're going to do a little ISO right here. Donnie Marker takes it out a little bit. And then he goes back in and then he gets tackled past the first down marker though. He is showing the genius in his ankles. Wade Wilson, the merchant with the arm, looking for Sheldon Green on the end zone. And the pass is caught, but he's ruled out of bounds. Great play that was, but he couldn't get a foot in bounds. Second and 10, we go back to Don and Marker one more game. And this time, he gets the first down, and we're inside the 10-yard line. At the 8, Marker. Easy money. Touchdown, Alabama State. Don and Marker gets it to the end zone for the second time today. And at the 3, we are up 49-7. We are 11 points away from the goal of getting 60 points. Wade Wilson, the merchant with the arm, looks down for the ride. Thompson, he's wide open, and he caught it. And he caught that, and he got tackled. Man, he had to climb on his back just to make that tackle. Pause. So there goes Johnny Marker. Oh, he ran somebody over. And then he gets past the 10. Tries to make a man make, but he's tackled inside the five-yard line. Johnny Marker having a day. So we're going to go ahead and let him finish what he started, right? Touchdown, Alabama State. His third rushing touchdown of the game. The Dope Walker Award is his to lose as Dunning Marker continues to cruise this season. Look at this play by Childress, though. Up the gut, past the 30, Hornet territory, past the 10, he's gone. That was good burst by Childress right there. Grambling State finally gets on the board yet again. We're going to do a play fake right here. We go to dead. No, we're looking downfield to Ryan Thompson in the end zone. And he caught the pass. Touchdown, Alabama State. What a pass by William Wade Wilson. Deadpool showing that arm. And now we're up 63 to 14. So they do a play fake right here. And Greg got no take that back. That's Brown. I forgot. We put our backups in the game. Brown with a sec right there. Campbell steps back the pass. Campbell with all the other throw. He throws it down, feeling the pass is batted away. That could have been caught in the end though. So that forced a point on fourth and 15. Waiting for it. It's Chad Hamilton. Hamilton has been great for us on special teams this season. And look at that miss right there. Look at Chad Hamilton go down the right side in the Grambling territory. Chad Hamilton takes it back. Touchdown, Alabama State. The fans have had enough. They're gone. They're out of here. We have reached our goal. 70 points in this game. The Alabama State Hornets are now 10-0 on the season. The Grambling State Tigers sadly dropped the 0-10. A nightmare season for Grambling State. William Wade Wilson, the merchant with the arm, had four touchdown passes. Hopefully, he keeps that up. Donnie Marker, three tutties on 14 touches, 112 yards. Man, it was an absolute beast. Four broken tackles. The wide receivers were not bad today at all. Ryan Thompson led the way, of course. Thomas Chavez, two receptions, two touchdown catches. And Ryan Thompson was the only cat that dropped passes in this game. So, that is great to see. Kendrick Billings had nine pancakes. Kendrick Billings is going to be the Offensive Player of the Year once again. I don't see how anybody steps before him on that because this man's been an absolute monster all season. Grant Garcia, five tackles, led the team. Uh, Bobby Swagger, tackles for loss with three. We had four sacks and then we had two INTs. And of course, we had two touchdowns on special teams. One by Sheldon Green on a kickoff return. Another one by Chad Hamilton on a punt return. What a game that was. What a performance. Thank you for watching. Peace.